Hello, how are you all? Right, this week we've got World Book Day. So I thought I would read one of my favourite books and actually it will give us a really good opportunity to practise lots and lots of language that you might already know. And here's a little clue. Not quite a bit of fruit. We will also be practising the days of the week. The main character oh, is, that, <laughs> is this? Yes, I'm guessing you've got that right. We are going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar. But we're going to read it in French. So we're going to practice lots and lots of language. So I'm going to read it all the way through in French and show you the words. And then what we'll do is we'll go back and look at some of the language. Okay? So you'll have the opportunity to play this more than once and to take your time and look at the language that we're sharing to see the journey that our little caterpillar takes to become a beautiful butterfly so here we go so i'm just going to share, show you my screen la chenille qui a très faim la chenille qui a très faim dans la lumière de la lune un petit oeuf se repose Sorry, un petit oeuf repose sur une feuille. So, I wonder if you can guess what that says. In the light of the moon, a little egg is resting on a leaf. Dimanche matin, le soleil se lève. So, here we go. An opportunity to practice some language you might already know. Dimanche matin, le soleil se lève. Sunday morning, the sun rose. Une minuscule chenille sort de l'œuf. Elle a très faim. And pop, a tiny little caterpillar emerges out of the egg. She is very hungry. Elle cherche de la nourriture. She goes looking for food. Le lundi, elle mange une pomme. Mais elle a encore faim. On Monday... She eats an apple, but she is still hungry. Can you guess what's coming next? Le mardi, elle mange deux poires. Mais elle a encore faim. On Tuesday, she eats two pears, but she is still hungry. Le mercredi, elle mange trois prunes. Mais elle a encore faim. Obviously, join in with the words if you want to, especially the repeated bit. So, on Wednesday, she eats three plums. But she is still hungry. Le jeudi, elle mange quatre fraises. Mais... Elle a encore faim. On Thursday, she eats four strawberries. But she is still hungry. Le vendredi, elle mange cinq oranges. Mais elle a encore faim. On Friday, she eats five oranges. But she is still hungry. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Five oranges, but she is still hungry. Well, on Saturday, she is so hungry. Le samedi, elle mange un morceau de gâteau, une glace. On Saturday, she has a piece of cake. An ice cream. Un cornichon. Du fromage. Du saucisson. Une sucette. Une tarte aux cerises. Une saucisse. So, this is still Saturday, by the way. Un cornichon. Little pickle. Du fromage. And here we've got some French cheese. Sorry, try not to touch it. 
There we go. Du saucisson. Saucisson. Oh, I haven't got a lollipop. Une sucette. Une tarte cerise. Piece, a cherry tart. Et une saucisse. So here we can see in French the difference between saucisson, du saucisson, some sausage, or une saucisse, one sausage. Une brioche, et une tranche de melon. She has one brioche, couldn't find brioche, but I've got madeleine, which is a French cake. One slice of melon. She has all that to eat. Cette nuit-là, elle a mal au ventre. Oh, ça va mal. So, that night, she has a tummy ache. Oh, she doesn't feel well at all. Poor little caterpillar doesn't feel well at all. C'est de nouveau de manche. La chenille mange une Belle feuille verte. Et ça va bien maintenant. It's the next Sunday. The caterpillar has a beautiful green leaf. Oh, she feels much better now. Elle n'a pas plus faim. Elle n'est plus une petite chenille. Elle est devenue grosse et grasse. She's no longer hungry. But she's not also not a small caterpillar anymore. She has become very big. Elle se construit une petite maison en cocon. She builds a small house, a cocoon. Elle y reste deux semaines. And she stays there for, well done, two weeks. Puis elle le perce pour en sortir. And then she pushes her way through to get out. <gasps> Elle est devenue un beau papillon and she becomes a beautiful butterfly. Ça, the end. So, there you go. The story of our chenille, la chenille. The hungry caterpillar who becomes a papillon, a butterfly. And don't forget, all that food she ate on those days. So if you want to, you can just enjoy listening to the story and seeing the story. Or you can watch the video again and you can pause it. You can um, take your time and have a look at the fruits that are mentioned. All the different fruit. And that big, massive selection of food that she eats on a Saturday. But I just want to show you a couple of things before we finish. When we look at Monday and we see un pom, un pom, it's one apple. For the next few days, she has two pears three plums. Can you notice there's an S on the end of the fruit because now we're talking about plural fruit. So if you're going to practice the language, if you want to, just remember that if you're spelling the fruit, trois prunes, three plums, we need that S on the end. So you can do as little or as, you, as much as you want to with the story. You can practice the words for the fruit. We've done some of these before or they might be new to you. You can practice the grammar of counting, one, two, three, up to five. You can practice your days of the week. You can practice some new vocabulary, but caterpillar, butterfly, this huge selection of fruit. I hope you enjoyed that story and that you enjoy World Book Day. Until next time, au revoir.